All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the last few prompts that you have for the activity 1.1.4, targeting success using data. So in the last video at the end, we talked about looking at, so in this third prompt here, or the one that's on the top of this page on my screen, looking at your measured error and looking at your calculated error. So again, do, we have a significant difference between the two values, why or why not? And maybe what are some reasons, you know, why they would be so large? You know, how come they're not very close together? The next prompt is recording your launch device precision value from activity 1.1.4, step 14. So let's go ahead and go back to the activity here. And so again, as the students would go through, they would calculate their device error, they would compare their accuracy and, you know, why why is it more accurate? Why is it more precise? So mainly they're looking at the accuracy there. But for number 14, they want to uh, give a quick estimate of the range found, or it's kind of like the variability. So what is the range found by measuring the diameter of a circle that you formed around your launch location data points? So again, looking at this, this circle, so I'm going to scroll back up here. We're looking, I am looking at team one's data. So as you start to look at what would be the diameter of the circle. So um, sometimes, especially, I would, I'm would i not gonna look at this in the Y direction because this kind of goes off the grid a little bit, but we do have a pretty good handle on what it is in the X direction. So if I look over here where the circle kind of hits, it's right about at 20, negative 29, or in this case, it'd be kind of like an absolute value. So from the center, so from the little center mark here all the way over to there is 29 and it goes from the center to left and then from the center to right we're hitting right about 19. so as you take a look so 29 and 19 i'm gonna go into our data here and we're just going to go ahead and put in what is the diameter of the circle so the diameter of the circle if i take 29 and 19 add them together that's going to give me 48 centimeters is going to be the diameter of our circle. So again, a, a, uh, a smaller circle means that you're more precise. A larger circle means that you've got more vari variability, means you've got a lot more kind of going on in terms of the range. So this would be what they want to record your launch, your launch device precision value. So whichever team's data you're using, this is team one, so you can be able to see what that looks like. So, but this is gonna be kind of how you would go through and find that information. So same thing if you were in the classroom, you'd have the students actually measure this out. And that should finish up with those kind of data points. So for this one, on the last portion, after finishing lesson 1.1, what remaining knowledge gaps do you have? How do you plan to address these? How can uh, the master teachers best close the gap for you? So again, be a little reflective. This lesson does tend to have some statistics and everything that needs to be covered with students. And especially if you're at a school that doesn't have engineering essentials, this may be some brand new information to some students. So you may have to help fill in some gaps and you yourself may need to have some gaps filled in as well. So let us know what we can do for you. But this video, we'll go ahead and we'll conclude this will finish out at the activity 1.1.4, targeting success with data prompts on submission form number one.